Crash Bandicoot. Such a classic name dating back to the mid-90s, memories of PlayStation fun-filled hours, and soon will again. With the recently announced return of Crash at E3 2016, I figured now would be a great time to look back at some of the great merchandise there was to accompany such great classic games. Now first off, we have two sets of figures from 1999 and 2000, made by Rosaurus. These would have been cool for your childhood play things featuring Crash with Jetpack, Crash with Jetboard, Coco Bandicoot, Komodo Mo, Tiny, Dr. Neo Cortex. Those guys made up the first series. In the second series, we had Deep Dive Crash, High Flying Crash, Wave Rider Coco, Dingodile, Engin, Entafy, and Moto Crash and Coco. As you can see, they all come with various accessories, but overall the figures were fragile. The third series was apparently in the works, but it never came to public sale. Overall, to obtain them, you will need some serious crash cash, because they go from anywhere to $50 to $120 per figure if still in the box. While making this video, I could not even find Wave Rider Coco from Series 2 being recently sold at all, so I actually do not have a price, and I am unsure of the current market value of that specific item. So you're going to have to make sure you do your homework and try not to overpay for some of these, as values are all across the board, and as you can see in some cases, may even be unknown. Now, this next item is also on the high side, around $100. Now, what's great about this item is it lets you create your own little set with a ramp, boxes, signpost, fencing, top it off. It just isn't crash on a cycle either, but an actual device to let you propel him at what I would say is a decent speed, making this such a fun toy. I almost wish there was even more pieces so it could be even a more elaborate scene. Overall, I would say this is a top pick for anyone looking to buy some old merchandise. In fact, if I was a crash collector, this would be one of the first things I would get, just because of how many pieces and how cool it really is. Now, we have some more Rosaurus merchandise in the form of 8-inch plushies that double as keychains. Coco, Dr. Neo Cortex, Komodo, and two versions of Crash himself. They are marketed as plush beanbag toys that were sold at retailers such as EB Games. Now, to be honest with you, I have no idea if this is a set of five or if there is indeed more. Information is scarce and hard to compile due to their age and rarity. The average selling price of them all appears to be around $60 to $70, except for Coco who recently went for over $200. Now, we are almost out of time in this episode, as I am keeping track of it on this awesome wristwatch, which shouts again from Rosaurus, and made in China, and that's pretty much all I know about it. I searched high and low all over the internet and I could not find anything other than the fact that it exists and you can find it for about $40 loose with dead batteries. It was probably in a magazine order, as back in the 90s there was a lot of merch also available in catalogs such as Nintendo Power, so on and so forth, and you would just go to the catalog, place your order, and that seemed to be the thing for most game companies back then. You can pretty much find a wristwatch for any old franchise. Now, thank you for watching this episode. I know it was short, and there were some things that, of course, I wish could have been better, such as finding an actual price and some more information about the watch. But hey, I've been away for a while. What can you do? I just figured I want to make an episode about Crash Bandicoot, and this was the result. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and there will be more VGC coming back at you again real soon. So in the meantime, subscribe, and stay tuned for more great content. Peace out.